Nsana mavaska, mungu tu sile beta African Freedom Day. Um, no, it's a different day with a different feel. Okay. I want to first and foremost air my concerns on the tension and the fracas that I'm seeing. I've been quiet for the past days. I haven't commented on any issue. I was pondering deeply okay. on the scenes that I'm seeing, which are not present at all. The remarks that have been issued, to be specific, the tribal remarks that have been issued. The tribal threats. Threats. So the remarks. The remarks. The words that are coming from people that we call honorables. The words that are coming, Bini, talking. It uh, seems like that's one of the most abused words in Zambia at the moment. Word Hon honorable. honorable boss. Honorable boss. Uh -huh. These so, are two words that are most abused because um, some um, behavior of certain people are not worthy of someone to be called or addressed of as Of that honorable. title. Yes, the title is so big. It's very embarrassing, I can't lie to you. Uh, why in Avaranaskavu? Mm -hmm. This is embraces to say this is the tribe I know. The tribe is Zambia. The tribe is Zambia. Whether you are coming from the east, south, north, west, whichever part of this country you are coming from, the tribe is Zambia. So either from Mwansawombo to Livingston, from Chipata to Mongo, the tribe is Zambian. It's one Zambia, one nation. There's a reason why that was brought forth by our forefathers. It's because they knew they knew that we have different uh, languages, but we under one roof. We are called one Zambia, one nation, and our tribe has to remain Zambian. These tribal remarks that are being perpetuated by politicians. It's very disappointing. We should distance ourselves. These politicians are not just politicians. They are in those offices because of us voters. If us voters begin to hold these people accountable and say, mm -mm, if, you come, if you start rebuking them, when they issue tribal remarks, the best for our country and the, the future. Because it means we are not building them, we are destroying. Uh, just even to, to echo another point, the politics of insults. Mm -hmm. Insults, regardless where you belong. Whether ruling or opposition. Opposition, I don't think that's a future for Zambia. Okay. And I must recommend the, the President, His Excellency, President Hagainde Sami uh, yesterday when he was uh, launching the Shaft 28, mm -hmm. where he warned mm -hmm. over the issue or sentiments of uh, tribal remarks. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's not just the President, but everyone. We need to take it upon ourselves and desist and refuse that Zambia of insults and tribal remarks. We are one Zambia, one nation. Um, I feel also time has come for the electorates, mm -hmm. the people that vote, to realize who they are and what powers they possess. Too much. Because it seems like these politicians want to always take people for a ride, for granted, forgetting that these are the bosses. Too much. Ababantama bwera kubwera do to do ngati ni kupemba kugwada kunyamula vana kuchita bwanje humble themselves just to get votes. Bavo mochinja mwana daipa. Serious. That's all on a Just to get votes. On that particular day, we should show them that who is the boss. The people are the owners of the power. That's why I say power to the people. But it seems like wawana munga tikawatinga tikawapeka kuma offices, they become big headed and they become the bosses no. forgetting that there have been people in those offices they will leave one day and others will come in but the question is when they leave what type of elegance are they leaving and those in opposition please please give people alternatives can you be that people solution to the problems that people are facing not no sitting here on a malari no Still, we don't see ruling part. Uh uh, return my solutions forth, give people hope. But it seems like now your opposition is opposing itself. No, my prayer is these sentiments.
and this um, chanting mm -hmm. which is coming from people uh, holding high offices, MPs uh, I think Tulina Wana Wangono Okay This is the only place I know myself Zambia Since the time we are independence We've had peace and stability But these sentiments that you want to bring Muzatu letera kafuwe fuwe Tu wapapata So kafuwe fuwe kakabwela Kana pressure our want to they are in privileged positions. Wavo my Wanandalama. Wavo my happy a little and a kumogadish. One of my passport. A coupe a little, what a manga check airport. So we 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 refuse. In my kutum kwe bas, mkafuko kwe airport, mtamanga, mzata mzata manga. Ya bas is a chocolate. Ya bas is a chocolate. Ya bas is a chocolate. Eh, eh, Uribe. So we have values the same motoka. So please. Let's hold our politicians accountable, regardless which political party you belong to, or you are neutral or what. We only have one Zambia to safeguard. Ivi, if you want to simple, so check. Vima amba pangono pangono. You know, liri miri monga stick ya matches. Eh? Palimpamvu. Palimpamvu. Kamozi ka stick ya matches. Kapusha sanga. Not sanga munga ingono. So I tuma kambati, um, you know, mau. They are very dangerous because they are much to incite into Vambi. So let's safeguard this nation, let's protect this nation, and let Zambia will forever be one Zambia, one nation. We will never stop preaching about peace. We will never remind the people that came to us to ask for votes why we voted for them. There is nothing wrong. It doesn't mean... It's not all, everyone that votes is, belong to a political party. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Not everyone that votes belong to a political party. That much you should know. And by the way, the moment a politician wins a seat, it means they become accountable to each and every Zambian. We are now a voter. 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 It's very simple. Eh? Leadership is a privilege that you are given by your fellows. Asira. 